everyone, Meg here from I Teach Stamping, and today we're gonna be talking about the Barn Door Bundle from Stampin' Up. So I love this slider card, it is totally my style, but I'm finding that a lot of people are finding this bundle to be frustrating, and it shouldn't be frustrating, it should be fun. So that is the goal of today's video, is that by the end of it, you are confident on how to put it together and some best tips along the way so that it's completely fun for you. So let's go ahead and talk about some tools that I'm gonna be using that I don't use for every single project, and it's certainly going to make putting this card together a whole lot easier. So let's go over those. I'm gonna be using a pencil that has an amazing eraser. So I prefer the white erasers. I think they work a lot better. So pencil and eraser, some tweezers, and our paper piercer, some post-it flags. These are the plastic ones. That's the sound, um, and not the paper ones. Some dimensional strips, some mini dimensionals, and then our adhesive sheets. All right, so these are not mandatory. Like I said, this will just make your life a whole lot easier. All right, so now let's take a minute and talk about the dies. So there are 15 dies in this die set, and so I get asked, like, how do you even know where to start? So I'm gonna teach you the easiest way to remember it. You're gonna want your three largest dies and your three pieces of hardware, three and three. So for that, it means we're gonna want the slider component, you know, like the whole mechanism part of it. We're gonna want the long strip, and then we're going to want our door cut out. And then the other ones that we're gonna want are our three pieces of hardware. So two are gonna look the same, and one is gonna be the handle. And remember those post-it little tabbies I was telling you about? I have them stuck to this, and you can reuse these over and over again. It's gonna make our life a whole lot more simple. So. These other pieces are if you want to decorate your door and do all that other fun stuff, and it's a lot of fun, but where do you start? Three biggest and three pieces of hardware. So we have this, now what do we do? The first thing we're gonna do is a wee bit of stamping. That's it, we're gonna stamp our barn door. So I'm just gonna bring in some white cardstock, some smoky slate ink, and then of course my barn door stamp. And remember to press down in the middle. I see people all the time just pressing down on the edges and then they lift up their stamp and they wonder why they didn't get ink in the middle. You've gotta press down in the middle. All right, so we have that. And that is all the stamping that we're gonna do for right now. Now we're ready to move a whole bunch of this stuff out of the way and we're gonna bring in our big shot. We're gonna do all of our die cutting right now. I'm gonna be using my magnetic platform and I'm gonna do my, do my barn door first. I'm going to run that on through. Easiest way ever to cut out a barn door. <laughs> and remember, you can use this to make rectangles on all your other paper crafting projects. Don't think you can only just use it for this die set. Okay, now let's go ahead and get our adhesive sheet ready. So I have a piece of black cardstock that's going to be one and a half inches wide by about four and a half inches long. And then I have my adhesive sheet. This will probably work better if my Big Shot is not in the way. And I always do this backwards. It's like a left-right thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna start. And I'm just gonna layer my cardstock onto there. And pull back. There we go. Get it all pressed down. And then I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut away the rest of that permanent adhesive sheet. So we've got this right here. And in just a moment, I'll explain the one and a half inches. All right, let's bring this back in. And let's bring in our bigger piece of white cardstock. So this one is gonna be four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this is where our mechanism is gonna go. So I still wanna die cut this on an angle, but I want that in the center. Then we're gonna take our black cardstock that has our adhesive sheet on the back. And we're gonna take our long strip. Again, I'm using the magnetic platform. And some people get frustrated with the dots on there and how the magnets are lined up. Don't fight the magnets, you're not gonna win. So if it's doing that and it's jumping, move your cardstock to line it up with it. 
You can also move it over here. It only acts up when I'm doing a video. Any other time, it's not gonna do that to me. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna take our little post-it flags. Remember these? And I'm gonna stick those onto my cardstock. And this one as well. Okay, so the reason for it being one and a half inches wide is because we'll be able to do two sets, two of the long bars and two sets of all the hardware out of one piece. So I'm really getting a lot out of that adhesive sheet on the back of that cardstock. All right, then we're gonna put our, oh, bummer, it moved. There we go. Put our cutting plate on top. And run it on through. So let's take a look at our white cardstock first. So it die cut perfectly because we cut it on an angle. Keep these little white strips, you can do a whole lot with them. Um, and then let's take a look and make sure everything looks good with this. It does. We've got our long black strip and we also have our hardware. And one of them just fell out. There we go. Oh, they both fell out. Both of the hanger parts and then the knob. Okay. So we've got those and then you just wanna go through and make sure that you poke out all the little spaces that should be there. All right, so I'll do that here in a little bit, but that's all the die cutting that we need to do. So we stamped a barn door and then we did all of our die cutting. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is start our assembly. We're gonna be working with this piece right here. So this is our little mechanism piece. Without this, we're not gonna have any sliders. And I'm gonna use pennies. Some people prefer to use washers, but I'm cheap and pennies <laughs> are cheaper. So I'm gonna teach you a trick uh, if you're gonna use a penny. We're also gonna use the mini dimensionals. And the reason we're gonna use these is because they're gonna fit perfectly in that cutout well that we have. So now I'm gonna flip this over to the back side, and I'm gonna show you where you're gonna want your placement. You're not gonna want it crazy up here and you're not gonna want it in the middle because your barn door uh, will show at that point. So we just want a little bit of our penny hanging up over that top line there. So as we go to flip it over, I'll teach you a fun little trick. We've got it up there. What I wanna do is put a dimensional and I want it to go straight. So I want a, t um, a straight line at the top and a straight line at the bottom. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna cover up Abe's ear. Okay, then we're gonna take off the backing and we're gonna line up our penny with the one on the bottom, right? So let's do it again. And actually I did on the back side, but it really doesn't matter. All right, so I just don't like it, you know, when you die cut, how it presses down, so I wanna always wanna make sure that's on the back. All right, so let's take another one. Let's line this up and let's cover up Abe's ear. So that part of our card is ready to go. We've got all of our sliders in place. And so now what we wanna do is bring in some glue dots. You can also use any other adhesive that you want, but I just think glue dots work best. I'm just gonna put one on two pennies for right now, and I'm gonna bring in the door, decide which way you want your handle to go. I want my handle on the left. Make sure your pennies are to the left. Take it and put it in place. And so now we have our slider. Let's do the other side. Ta-da! And so now we have 
our entire door that slides and our pennies are completely covered up. So always take a couple extra seconds just to make sure you've got everything good and lined up if you're going with the penny method. Okay, so we have that done and now we are ready to do our stamping. So we're gonna need our pencil and we're gonna bring this into the middle of our grid paper and I'm gonna put my door in the middle as well. I'm gonna take my white cardstock and I'm gonna line it up in the middle. So I'm lining it up between the two tracks and then between the ends here. I just wanna have the same distance from end to cardstock on both sides. Make sure our barn door is straight. We're gonna slide it all the way to one side and make a pencil mark. And we're gonna slide it all the way to the other side and make a pencil mark. All right, so now we know that we need to stamp any anywhere from here to here and from here to here, but not in that middle section because nobody's gonna see it, okay? So if I'm gonna center whatever I'm stamping, I wanna center it between this line and the edge of my cardstock. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. So I like the little swish guy. I don't know if he actually has a name, but I like to call him swish. I'm just gonna take him and stamp him over here. So there's that smoky slate. Now we're gonna bring in Night of Navy. This is one of my favorite color combinations. Night of Navy, smoky slate, basic black. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm gonna use my imaging sheet and my stamp a jig because I definitely do not want it going over that line because then I'd be sad and cry and nobody wants that. Now I'm gonna use my imaging sheet for this other side for my sentiment. I'm so happy to know you. I love this sentiment, I just think it's adorable. Oh, it would help if, if my cardstock was straight, that would help me line it up better. Ta-da! All right, now remember that really good eraser we were talking about? This is when you're gonna need it because you wanna get rid of those pencil lines. Nobody wants to see those. There we go. It's like they were, woo! It's like they were never even there. All right, so now we have done all of our die cutting. We have done all of our stamping. We're just ready to do the final assembly. So let's get that done. This is my favorite part of every project is when it's just about done. So I'm gonna take our stamped layer and I'm gonna put it onto a mat of smoky slate. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take that off and try to actually put it on straight. Added bonus. Um, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have this. Now when we go to put this on our card, just make sure that you're not using dimensionals or else your door is not gonna slide as, as well. So I'm just gonna put this in place into the middle. So that part's done. Now we're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna bring in these adhesive strips and some scissors. So I like to, as you can tell, I've got all different lengths there. What I like to do is just kind of eyeball it to how far I want it and I need four of these. Just cut through four. We're gonna go in, we're gonna put these where our pennies are not gonna touch them, but I want you to think of these as like lifting up the pennies. It's gonna give our pennies room to slide. So I don't want them right on top of my pennies, but I want them pretty gosh darn stinking close. And don't worry about if they go on there straight. <laughs> Last one. We're gonna take our cardstock, we're gonna make sure that we're putting it on right side up because that would also be equally bad. Put that into the middle. And now all we have left to do is our hardware. And normally this is where people are like, Ugh. but remember we use those adhesive sheets. So watch how quickly this is gonna go on. I'm 
I'll take this. I prefer for these to use my tweezers. It not only helps me do the adhesive backing, it also helps me get them into place. This is another thing that as soon as the camera's off, it's so easy to do. When the camera's rolling, those adhesive sheets don't like to come off. And then just decide where you want it to be on your door. See, look, that one came off. It's easy breezy lemon squeezy. This one over here. And then all we have left is this. And it's gonna be a pain, there we go. Of course, the last element is going to give me a hard time. There we go. All right, so here we have our fabulous card. We have our door that slides that has our cute little sentiment and our flower behind it and our card that opens up. You can put whatever you want on the inside. And so my friends, that is all it takes to make this card. Yes, there's a lot of steps and we're going to go over those in just a second. But if you really think about it as a formula, there's five steps that you want to create this. Step one, stamp your barn door. Step two, do your die cutting. And when you're getting your dies out, remember you want your three biggest and your three pieces of hardware and make sure to use those adhesive sheets. Then the next thing after your die cutting is you want to do your penny work, get all your pennies in place or you can use washers, whatever you want. And then the next part is going to be to do the rest of your stamping and then your final assembly. So those are the five steps. Now, if you like this video and you like the way I broke it down, you like the tips that I share, please let me know. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. That way I know that you wanna see more like this. All right, before you go, in the description of this video, if you are looking on YouTube, is a list of all the supplies I used. If you're looking at it on the iTeach Stamping blog, just scroll down and it's right below this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I'm Meg from iTeach Stamping and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.